Okay, so uh, welcome to this uh, short demo of the Synthesis uh, Line 6 Bass Pod Editor and Librarian. If you've seen the guitar one, you should be quite familiar with this kind of. It's much the same interface and the way of working. Uh, what we're looking at at the moment is the main amp cab uh, interface settings here. We've got MIDI setup here. We've got a main help button. If you click on the sections title here, you get specific help on uh, sections that are in here. Uh, we can switch programs on the pod quite easy, just like that. Um, something like that. Um, we can. We've got amp models. We can select different amp models, and you'll get the a nice visual res representation of the amplifier that they're simulating. The cab again with the cabinets. We can swap those around for different ones. Um, we've got what, drive, bass, middle, treble. We've got a parametric equalizer on the bass pod that we can sort of sweep around and tune our sound with. Channel volume, mid sweep. Some of the amp models have mid sweep, some don't. Yeah, that one doesn't, but uh, that one does. Noise gate settings, volume pedal settings, wah wah pedal settings, etc. Uh, if we move into the effects section, we've got a permanent compressor on the bass pod. So we can we can change the ratio of that. We can compress the hell out of things. Yeah, let's just really squash it. There you go. That's come sort of compressed to hell there. Uh, did, uh, we've got the effects select here. As you um, select additional effects, the settings for those will pop up in the window at the bottom here. Uh, yeah, Tron, bass, sample and hold, flanges phasers etc you can turn the effects on and off you've got the tweak that which is a representation of the tweak knob on the front of the hardware you can apply the effects to the di output if you want you've got a low cut here etc etc uh, if you move into the librarian section you've got sort of three main sections here these are the four buttons that will do things uh, you've got your librarian memory in the middle you've got your file browser over here uh, so I keep all my stuff in this little folder here. So the first thing you could do is you can do pod programs to librarian. So if we hit that button there, basically it loads all the memories that are currently in the hardware into the librarian memory here. And you can select different ones from here if you want. Um, but really what we probably do now is save librarian tones to disk. So if you hit that one, it then pulls all those memories out and you can save them all as a big tone bank to your hard drive like that I'll just cancel for the moment yeah it just says I cancelled that's fine uh, you can sort of reload different tone banks there's one there in the file browser back into here um, you, what else can we do right so if you've tweaked your tone and you want to save it you can save individual tones to disk so whatever is in the um, base pod memory whatever you can whatever you can hear at the moment if you save tone to disk, then you'll, you can save that individual uh, tone to disk like that. Or again, it is through because I cancelled. Or you can save it to the librarian, so we could move that one there, or whatever. Sorry, whatever is in the edit buffer here. If we just save tone to librarian, let's put it into one B. Okay, there we go. That's stuck it in there. We'll copy it into one C as well if we want. Okay, there we go. Now you've got it's in there and it's in there. That way you can sort of like edit your own tones, go into the librarian, save them into specific slots in the librarian memories, and then save the whole thing to disk like that. So build up your own tone banks, basically. Um, yeah, that's a tone bank there. That's just an individual um, tone that I did earlier. It's a sort of Gary Newman one. <laughs> Something like that anyway, isn't it? Um, and that's basically um, that's the basic a standalone editor. We'll just move into the door now and uh, see you in a second. Right, here we are in the door. I've just loaded uh, basically a VST2 version of the editor. Um, it's absolutely identical. It just works as a VST instead of a standalone project, a standalone uh, editor. Basically what that means is that 
the main advantages of course is running like this is that if we select the automation lanes here and we select base pod editor choose parameter we've got all all these basically parameters that you can see on effects in amp and cab you know preamp para cube yeah preamp mid preamp treble uh, FX config effects or noise gate thresholds etc just about anything you see on the screen you can automate so we can just say we'll just take the drive mode like that take the drive draw in some pretty little automation lanes for that and then if we start everything playing you'll see that we now we've got an automation of the drive level here inside the door and that's the basic advantage of using the VST2 or the VST3 or the audio component, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.